Hello, friends. This is not a parody. On this day of the inauguration of President Trump, I am not seeking to vilify him. I'm seeking to understand him from the inside out. I'm an actor. This is my way of empathizing with a person in order to understand myself better. Because I believe that we are all mirrors for each other. And that anything I judge in somebody else is something that I'm not looking at within me, that I'm not comfortable with within me. And I admit, I have judged this person. I have judged President Trump. Is there any part of me that's ever found a loophole in the system? Maybe not been entirely honest on a test or some piece of paperwork? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. Yep. And that part that's uncomfortable about that, it's really easy to push that on somebody else. Is there a part of me that has judged somebody else? Made fun of somebody else? Yeah. I am not proud of that. And I do daily work to clean and look at those parts of me. And not just project them on somebody else. And that's why I'm here today. Is there a part of me that's... Well, I could go on. But I'd like to just get into what this practice is for me. These celebrity sketches uh, started out as <laughs> a really big acting challenge to see if I could embody a person who I admire. Normally, actors, performers, singers. Um, and it's become a practice in what I call courageous compassion, understanding somebody from the inside out. And part of that is really technical. So this, these that I do, it's only ever one take. I don't cut, um, and I, I post it, which is scary. I <laughs> admit that. Um, but what I do is I meditate. I did not want to do this. <laughs> I did not want to do this sketch, but I got really strongly... Um, that I need to do this sketch. If I'm going to talk about courageous compassion, then I need to dive in and have compassion for somebody that I have not been having compassion for um, so that I can understand those parts of myself, as I said. So um, I'm going to get kind of technical as I look at physical things and, um, and sounds. I also do something where I meditate on the person I meditate on what it feels like in my body and I ask for um, what the person feels like in my body. I ask for a symbol that represents what that feels like in my body, that particular energy. So um, in meditating, the symbol that came to me um, is a Dungeness crab. So Dungeness crab they are, they have a lot of armor. They have some big claws, understandably, because they don't even have bones inside. They're very soft. And it's not a softness that is a softness that can allow things to come in and, and um, flow through like water. It's a softness that is um, sensitive in a way that every little um, insult or perceived threat um, incites an attack and that's why I have this big armor and that's why I have these big claws and have I ever felt like that yeah I have so I'm gonna um, feel into that today it's a softness that that needs to put on uh, a, a veneer of being very tough because everything hurts too much to deal with. It doesn't have very effective ways of dealing with that and perceives everything as a, as a threat, is the feeling that I get. Um, but maybe it's kind of a game too, you know? Like that's, that's the life and it's got these big, these big chompers, bigger than a lot of the cats under the sea. <laughs> so, you know, is there a part of me that, that is ever, um, when I've received an insult, um, instead of working with what that, what I felt like, what that 
felt inside of me and what that triggered inside of me has wanted to say a quick retort back and felt for a moment, yeah, earn that one. I got that one. And maybe other people laughed. And then when we stopped laughing, it still hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Still working with that one. But if I don't, then I need claws. I need armor. So I picked two videos today. I looked at a lot of videos. I also um, read nonpartisan Wikipedia um, information about President Donald Trump um, just to learn more about how he grew up and um, and the trajectory in his business and um, the you can read more in there this is not a political video you can read more in there about lawsuits and um, political views and um, you can read more there but that's not what this is about um, what I chose here are two pieces, one from Larry King interview from 1987 on CNN, and one from this last year um, in the, at the National Press Club. So, uh, so this first bit, bit's going to be technical. Uh, first off, I feel um, a, ten, a kind of a leaning forward and just kind of a forward presence in, uh, in the nose, in the shoulders, in the mouth, uh, in the lips here. Well, it was very easy. I was tired, and I think a lot of people are tired of watching other countries ripping off the United States. This is... Well, it was very easy. I was tired, and I think a lot of people are tired of watching other countries ripping off the United States. States. Okay, we got a lot of round. I'm going to go back here. Uh... Well, it was very easy. I was tired, and I think a lot of people are tired of watching other countries ripping off the United States. This... Well, it was very easy. Well, well, it was very easy. I was tired, and I think a lot of people are tired of watching other countries ripping off the United States. This is a great country. They laugh at us. Behind our backs, they laugh at us because of our own stupidity and the... They laugh at us. Behind our backs, they laugh at us. Laugh. Laugh. Other countries ripping off the United States. This is a great country. They laugh at us. Behind our backs, they laugh at us because of... He was very calm at this time, you know, very, uh, I mean, exteriorly... Uh, Our own stupidity and the. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. I now. Oops. Well, it was very easy. I was tired, and I think a lot of people are tired of watching other countries ripping off the United States. This is a great country. They Well, it was very easy. I was tired. And I think a lot of people are tired of watching other people ripping off the United States. This is a great country. They laugh at us. Behind our backs, they laugh at us because of our own stupidity and the... They laugh at us. Behind our own backs, they laugh at us. Behind our backs, they laugh at us because of our own stupidity. It's interesting. Um, that dichotomy, just in this tiny little clip of that we're great and that we're stupid, and perceiving others as as ripping us off, out to get us, and um, and laughing at us behind our backs, this um, feels to me. I remember feeling that way in uh, in middle school, um, feeling like I could be great. But feeling like, um, feeling awkward and stupid sometimes, and uh, just really trying to get people to like me, and um, and feeling like people were laughing at me behind my back. I know what that feels like. Okay, this was on C-SPAN. Pipeline, the Keystone Pipeline. I don't even care that much about it. I say. 
pipeline, the Keystone Pipeline, I don't even care that much about it. I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see a little more. Keystone Pipeline, I don't even care that much about it. I'd say... The Keystone Pipeline, I don't even care that much about it. I'd say... Build it because it's jobs and good and all that. But we don't... I'd say build it because it's jobs and because... Because it's jobs and good and all that. All. Let me watch that again. Still pipeline. I don't even care Keystone? that much about it. I'd say build it because it's jobs and good and all that. Keystone Pipeline. I don't even care that much about it. I, I say build it because it's jobs and good and all that. But we don't need Canada's oil. We don't need Canada's oil and gas. But we don't need Canada's oil. We don't need Canada's oil and gas. We don't need anything from... Oops, oops, I, missed the, I missed the eyebrows. Oil and gas. But we don't need Canada's oil. We don't need Canada's oil and gas. We don't need anything from anybody. We don't need anything from anybody. We don't need anything from anybody. But we don't need Canada's oil. We don't need Canada's oil and gas. We don't need anything from anybody. But we don't need Canada's oil. We don't need Canada's oil and gas. We don't need anything from anybody. But build it anyway. It's jobs. It's environmentally very good. But build it anyway. It's jobs. It's environmentally very good. Yes, we don't need anything from anybody, but build it anyway. It's jobs. It's environmentally very good. But build it. We don't need anything from anybody, but build it anyway. It's jobs. Go back and do that again. Oil and gas. Yes. We don't need anything from anybody, but build it anyway. We don't need anything from anybody. But build it anyway. It's jobs. It's environmentally very good. It's jobs. It's environmentally very good. So... I don't agree. With that view, um... And I certainly don't agree that the pipeline is good for the environment when all of the evidence is factually to the contrary. Um, but to see the view of they're out to get me, they're laughing behind my back, I don't need anything from them then. You know, if if if, uh, if if I'm under attack and I can't, I'm not getting the what I need, and I need to protect myself. Then maybe I don't need anything from anybody, and all I need to do is protect myself and fight. And if I'm seeing life as a fight, uh, then I need bigger guns that beget bigger guns that beget bigger guns that beget bigger guns. And then what do we have? Anyway, um, I am grateful for this big mirror to look at what inside me I still need to transcend. Because um, cause we have some work to do, I believe. And I believe that we have work to do together and that, that we do need everybody. <laughs> Even Donald Trump, because he's illuminating some things that aren't working very well in our system and that aren't working very well in our country and, and our, uh, 
some of our beliefs. So um, I believe that there's a lot that does work and that there is amazing, amazing beauty in all people around the world and that all of us coming forth to look at what's um, fearful and hidden that we're ashamed of within our own selves and transcending that, that we can come forth and be the light that we're meant to be in the world. Um, but this is a part of that, I believe. So, uh, yes, I'm going to stand with the causes that I believe in, but I'm not interested in standing against President Trump. I'm not interested in standing against anything because I believe that that creates something to always stand against. I stand with love. I stand with equality. I stand with compassion, courageous compassion. I stand with empathy, for I believe we are all connected. <laughs>